how how the United States went, the rest of the world followed. So the United States control uh, started the um, started it by placing um, those drugs in Schedule One, and then through the UN there was, um, I believe, pressure, and essentially the the rest of the world followed suit. And so essentially these drugs are have this kind of categorization in every place. Um, and they're not available, they're not legal anywhere in the world. Um, and the research, in fact, there's been more research in the United States than any other place except maybe Switzerland uh, using these agents. And Switzerland, for historical reasons, LSD was, was founded there. And so the, re, um, the reemergence of research with these agents is predominantly United States and Switzerland. Um, and, uh, and the rest of the world is really almost no activity. Which may change if um, th if the data shows an effect, um, and there's you know several studies in Switzerland. There's um, uh, psilocybin for eating disorders. There's an LSD in terminal cancer study. There's an MDMA study there. So there's a and there's a lot of neuroimaging work with Franz von Weider in Switzerland. Very interesting uh, work that's going on there. So it's uh, an interesting time in terms of the mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. And the idea that it goes to a uh, <coughs> excuse me. The idea that it goes to a phase three that Dr. Ross was talking about, that one day there would be centers where someone can go to for a few weeks if they were had advanced cancer type preparation, therapy, the experimental session, follow up therapy, then go back home to their, their home. Okay. It's a remarkable uh, thing to think about somewhere down the road. 